got a call and um, had no heat on this boiler so I came out and troubleshot it last night and what I found was we have a bad fuel pump this is the shaft that came out of the fuel pump so I went and picked up a brand new fuel pump this is the new style SunTech uh, fuel pump and no solenoid valve so I just need to disconnect everything I have power off to it right now and um, fuel is turned off I have a tiger loop um, with flexible fuel lines I'm gonna have to disconnect and then um, because the tiger loop uses a two pipe system I need to put in the bypass plug and then when I get done, I need to check the fuel pressure and then uh, hook up my analyzer and tune it. So here we go. Whenever you change these fuel pumps, always put in a new coupling. This coupling here is a Westwood S85-500. So inside the fuel pump, you'll get a bypass plug, some instructions. then you'll get the fuel pump. Now, this has got plugs in it. We'll have to remove in order to put the fuel lines in it. Um, it is pre-filled with an, a lubricant, so when you take out these bypass plugs, it's gonna leak out a bunch of fluid, so I wanna be aware of that. I also picked up a new um, 90. I think this is 3 16 by an eighth inch. Uh, brass 90 and that hooks up on the fuel line back here off the fuel pump so I will screw that in right in this port first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and cut my coupling length I match it up and then I use my cutter let's get it just where it needs to be you don't want to make it too long because then it'll have too much pressure when it um, when you put the pump when you put the fuel pump on in the blower motor. You don't want it too long, or it will sandwich it together, and make it too tight. And then I compare it, make sure that we're good to go. This cutter makes really nice, clean, square cuts, which is very important. I put the end caps on it. Put it on something flat and level, and I push down to make sure it's nice and seated. Just like that. make sure that where the fuel lines come off they go back in the same place. Uh, if you have an, an inlet and a return you want to make sure that they don't get reversed.
No, I just gotta put in the bypass plug. That goes in the return side. And then it'll tell me the return and bypass plug. So that's where I'm gonna install the bypass plug. So that's the bypass plug right there. I just put it in the return port. You only install the bypass plug if you're using a two pipe system. If you have two, if you have two pipes going into the fuel pump, um, you, you need to put in the bypass plug. If you only have one pipe going to the inlet and nothing going back to the return, never install it. Make sure you're not using Teflon tape on these fittings, only uh, pipe dope as rated for fuel. You want to keep the first thread pretty clear and then uh, that way you don't get any pipe dope inside the fuel pump. When you put the fuel pump in, you want to line up the other side of the coupling to the blower motor. The easiest way to do that is to just open up the ignition transformer, put your hand inside and spin and spin the fan. So the fuel pumps come preset at 100 PSI. I need to make sure what fuel pressure we need. The manufacturer setting for this boiler system is 100 PSI, so they do match, but I need to verify uh, with a combustion analyzer and a fuel pressure gauge um, that the settings are correct. So now I just need to check the fuel pressure on the pump. Even though it comes preset at 100 PSI, I need to make sure um, for myself that it is set correctly. Right here on the top is the gauge port for hooking up the pressure gauge. Once you take that plug out, you need to make sure you put more pipe dope on that. Now, I'm ready to check fuel pressure. I'm gonna open up my fuel valve Let's make sure that the, the bleed port here is tight. We don't want that to spray any fuel. Okay, we're in a hard lockout. This is a R7284 oil primary control Honeywell. The way to reset these is to hit this exclamation point. Hold it in for a second and then let it go. It says control reset, calling for heat. And we're right on 100 PSI, which is what we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the pressure gauge. Okay, so we had a bad fuel pump. The shaft had broke and came out of the fuel pump. Um, we've installed the new fuel pump. We made sure that the fuel pressure was at 100 PSI what it called for for the manufacturer's settings. We installed the bypass plug for a two-pipe system, made sure all the connections are tight. We do not use Teflon tape. We only use pipe dope rated for fuel. And um, the last thing I got to do is hook up a combustion analyzer just to make sure that the tuning and everything is still correct. Other than that, um, check out one of my other videos over here. And thank you for watching.
and smash the like button if you like it.